Almost 50 years ago, David Bowie released the song Life on Mars. Now it turns out that it may be on the planet Venus that life first will be found. There is something funky going on in the clouds of Venus. Telescopes have detected unusually high concentrations of the molecule phosphine, a stinky, flammable chemical typically associated with feces, farts, and rotting microbial activity in an atmospheric layer far above the planet's scorching surface, so the detection of gas in the planet's atmosphere could turn scientists' gaze to a planet long overlooked in the search for extraterrestrial life. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about an unexpected discovery made by scientists on Venus which will completely change our perspective about life on other planets. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The search for life beyond Earth has largely revolved around our rocky red neighbor. NASA has launched multiple rovers over the years, with a new one currently en route, to sift through Mars's dusty surface for signs of water and other hints of habitability. Now, in a surprising twist, scientists have observed what may be signs of life in the clouds of our other, even closer planetary neighbor, Venus. While they have not found direct evidence of living organisms there, if their observation is indeed associated with life, it must be some sort of aerial life form in Venus's clouds, the only habitable portion of what is otherwise a scorched and inhospitable world. So, high in the toxic atmosphere of the planet Venus, astronomers on Earth have discovered signs of what might be life. If the discovery is confirmed by additional telescope observations and future space missions, it could turn the gaze of scientists towards one of the brightest objects in the night sky. Venus, named after the Roman goddess of beauty, roasts at temperatures of hundreds of degrees and is cloaked by clouds that contain droplets of corrosive sulfuric acid. Few have focused on the rocky planet as a habitat for something living. Instead, for decades, scientists have sought signs of life elsewhere, usually peering outward toward Mars or, more recently, at Europa, Enceladus, or other icy moons of the giant planets. The astronomers who reported the finding in a pair of papers have not collected specimens of the Venusian microbes, nor have they snapped any pictures of them. But with powerful telescopes, they have detected a chemical, phosphine, in the thick Venus atmosphere. After much analysis, the scientists assert that something now alive is the only explanation for the chemical's source. Some researchers question this hypothesis, and they suggest instead that the gas could result from unexplained atmospheric or geologic process on a planet that remains mysterious. But the finding will also encourage some planetary scientists to ask whether humanity has overlooked a planet that may have once been more Earth-like than any other world in our solar system. This is an astonishing and out-of-the-blue finding, said Sarah Seeger, a planetary scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and an author of the papers published in Nature Astronomy and another submitted to the journal Astrobiology. It will definitely fuel more research into the possibilities for life in Venus's atmosphere. In addition, another molecular astrophysicist at Harvard University Clara Sousa Silva, whose research has focused on phosphine, and another of the authors stated that, We know that it is an extraordinary discovery. We may not know just how extraordinary without going back to Venus. Moreover, Sarah Stewart Johnson, a planetary scientist and head of the Johnson Biosignatures Lab at Georgetown University, who was not involved in the work, said there's been a lot of buzz about phosphine as a biosignature gas for exoplanets recently, referring to the search for life on worlds that orbit other stars. How cool to find it on Venus! She added, Venus has been ignored by NASA for so long, it's really a shame. Venus is one of the most beautiful objects in Earth's sky, but at a closer glance, the less lovely it becomes. Often called Earth's twin, Venus is roughly the same mass as Earth, Many scientists think that Venus was once covered in water and possessed an atmosphere where life as we know it could have flourished. 
In earlier days of the solar system, Earth was not so hospitable to the likes of us. There was life here then, even an entire biosphere that did not survive in the oxygen-rich environment that later developed. And much as Earth over time became a home for jellyfish, ferns, dinosaurs, and homo sapiens, Venus was transformed by something into a hell. Today, the second planet from the Sun has an atmosphere stifled by carbon dioxide gas and surface temperatures that average more than 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The dense atmosphere of Venus exerts a pressure of more than 1,300 pounds per square inch on anything at the surface. That is more than 90 times the 14.7 pounds per square inch at sea level on Earth, or the equivalent to being 3,000 feet underwater in the ocean. It is hardly a place that makes visiting or research easy, although that doesn't mean people haven't tried. Space programs have tried dozens of robotic missions to Venus, many of them in the Soviet Union's Venera series. But the planet eats metal, within minutes melting down and crushing spacecraft that have landed there. Of all of those attempts, only two managed to directly capture images of the planet's surface. Whereas frigid Mars is currently ringed by orbiters and prowled by NASA rovers, Venus is being studied by only one probe, the lonely Japanese spacecraft Akatsuki, and the future missions to the planet are still mere concepts. So, although the surface of Venus is like a blast furnace, a cloud layer just 31 miles below the top of its atmosphere may reach temperatures as low as 86 degrees Fahrenheit and has a pressure similar to that at ground level on Earth. Many planetary scientists, including Carl Sagan and Harold Morowitz, who proposed the idea 53 years ago, have hypothesized life may exist there. Jane Greaves, an astronomer at Cardiff University in Wales, set out in June 2017 to test that hypothesis using the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii, looking for signs of various molecules on Venus. Different species of molecules will absorb radio waves coming through the clouds at different characteristic wavelengths. One of the chemicals was phosphine. She did not expect to find it. I got intrigued by the idea of looking for phosphine, because phosphorus might be a bit of a sort of a go-no-go -go for life, Dr. Greaves said. Chemists compare phosphine to a pyramid, one atom of phosphorus topping a base of three hydrogen atoms. The NASA spacecraft Cassini detected it in the atmospheres of Jupiter and Saturn. In that setting, Dr. Souza Silva said life is not necessary to form phosphine. The immense heat and pressure can jam the phosphorus and hydrogen atoms together to form the molecule. But on smaller rocky planets, like Earth and Venus, the researchers say there is not enough energy to produce copious amounts of phosphine in the same way. There is one thing, however, that appears to be very good at producing it. Anaerobic life, or microbial organisms that don't require or use oxygen. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.